Hey everybody, how's that? Actually, should I even do the real? I don't know. Mm, interesting. Should I do the actual intro? I don't know. I, I was planning on just showing this to a couple of friends of mine, maybe in a private video. But I found this... Oh, well, that's new. I found this server the other day. Uh, now, I believe this is the Java version of Minecraft, so last time I made one of these videos, it, dr it drug on a little bit, so I'll try to get right to it. These are some of the servers that I've uh, seen uh, just from Featured. You don't have to go anywhere or do anything. It's right here on the on the server settings. Eight of them just pop up immediately. But something I noticed with one of these was Cubecraft, where it says North America New Magic RPG. Um, I played it the other day for about three hours, so you're not missing much. I'm hoping that my character and my progress are still there. So we're loading up the server now, and I'm going to see if it actually works and whatnot. Tons of players. It kind of reminds me of... Uh, um, kind of reminds me of uh, the old um, RuneScape days, you know, just a lobby where you go to different dimensions to play the little uh, various video games. But the one that I went to, you've got, hang on, I'll go over them. Beta games, which I think those are still in testing, Block Wars, Lucky Blocks, Sky Wars, Egg Wars, Magic Mayhem, Sky Block, Battle Arena, uh, Miners, Minor Wars, and Survival Games. I didn't check out all these other ones. I'm pretty sure you could find channels on them. Um, but I went to Magic Mayhem. So let's see if my character and all my progress is still there. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm still in the same spot. I'm still in the same spot. You start in this little, uh, it's kind of like an underground area, almost like a dungeon area. But um, there are vendors that you can buy uh, shop items from and all sorts of stuff. Alrighty, I suppose um, since I'm kind of lost in the main town here, I'll go over how you level up your character. You start out with this compass here and you can right click on it to upgrade your attributes. You've got quests, upgrade attributes, uh, your character information, and apparently teleport, which I haven't tried yet. Teleport to the nearest unlocked, I guess, uh, area, but let's go over the attributes. You've got your generic attributes, max mana, mana regeneration, max health, uh, health regeneration, critical hit damage. Uh, critical hit chance and luck. So those are your base attributes. And I've already done a little bit of leveling up. I'm not sure what my actual overall character's level is, but I've done some leveling up. Then you have your elemental attributes. Fire damage, fire resistance. Frost damage, frost resistance. Earth damage and earth resistance. Air damage and air resistance. Water damage and water resistance. Okay, fire, frost, earth, air, and water. Okay, and I started off with water, so I'm going to need more water damage because I actually, oh, I, I can't afford it yet. i got to do a little bit more grinding. I think I spent most of my points on my generic attributes. Uh, you've got two main spells to start out with. You start out in like a dungeon and you fight your way out of there. You've got your basic spell, which is your left click. It's basically water gun. And I suppose all of the magic is controlled by your wands. The first, like, small quest I got for basically, like, a, a grindy sort of quest is this guy here. He wants uh, those water gems from the creatures that are um, down in this dungeon here. Do you have the essence with you? Yeah, they give, like, a water essence. I need 25. Uh, so far, I've given him 15. So I can actually go down to this cave here. And I'm thinking that it actually takes a... How should I put it? I'm pretty sure that the enemies down here, since they're water element, are more resistant to water damage. And there's probably a much faster way to deal damage to them than the water element. But so far, that's all I have uh, unlocked. Um, maybe I'll make a part two of this um, video, where after I've discovered a little bit more, I'll have a little bit more to say and know about specifically. Because I, I bet you I can save up enough mana to buy uh, different wands, like fire wands and earth wands and air wands, you know, and that's tied to your magic. It'll deal more damage to other creatures. So I've shown you the main spell, which is basically that water gun, but the one that I really like is this whirlpool effect. It catches in a couple of them and you can sit there and deal damage to them. You gotta watch out for their attacks though. And I've leveled up enough to where I can actually do this back to back. Did they drop any crystals? So I'm collecting their essence, which I'm giving to that one dude. And since it's a, um, se um, I was talking to Dustin the other day, and he mentioned that since it's an adventure world, you can't just break blocks, as you can see. I probably need the proper tools in order to do that. But mainly I've been focusing on just the 
regular quests and stuff. So I've been just uh, getting these guys and taking them down. As you can see, my mana regen is actually pretty good. We're up to 170, 180, and I could just wait for it to um, wait to, uh, for it to recharge. And as you can see, uh, just above my armor rating bar is uh, the name of my spells. Uh, we've got Water Spout and Whirlpool. So I don't know why I didn't tell you the names of them to begin with. Did they drop any essence down here? Don't drown. Come on. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I go up so slowly. Uh, and, of course, there's other people around here, too. So it's not just you grinding alone. And let's see now. Let me check. I think I've already got all of my armor on, pretty much. How, uh, how do I? There we go. Yeah, I got all my stuff already. Uh, Axelan, Shell Helmet. Axelan, Shell Chest Plate. Axelan uh, boots and the leggings, all level 10. I actually haven't even looked at their stats yet. Uh, health plus 70, mana regeneration, water resistance. And as you can see, um, I sold the rest of the items, but I, I just got two pairs of pants now. So I've been selling the additional extra ones that I've been getting and keeping the ones that I still need. I don't see a durability on them, though. Is there a durability? Huh. I do not see a durability. But anyway, I sold uh, the ones that I did have, and I've been um, just making sure to have fully armored and be armored up. So now I can sell these two pants here and get even more equipment, I guess. Hopefully another wand. I need to check all the shops because I haven't really... I only played for a few hours the other day and got enough... Uh, I really leveled up my character's stats. As you can tell, I've got a butt-ton of health. Food hasn't gone down yet, though, so I imagine um, I'm probably in like a starting area for the noobs, where it's really, really easy to you know, like be okay, not have to worry about um, starving to death, and you know, HP damage doesn't deal much. But these guys, they do deal a little bit of damage, but they're only level 10. So far, it's gone pretty well. Um, I'm just gonna keep grinding against these guys until I can. <laughs> get enough to um, get enough to give all the gems to that one dude. So it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. I'd like to do a part two though, because I I feel like there's so much more here that I haven't gotten into yet. Oh, and I can also push him into these two. And now that I've got them all together, now I can hit them all with whirlpool. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> You guys drop any essence? Ah, there's one. There's two. Okay. So as you can see, I can go up and I can give those to the dude and probably sell that helmet and the chest piece, the two leggings, and wow. Yeah, it's going pretty good so far. <laughs> well, we've only been recording for a few minutes. So I'll go back up to the starting area and then meet you there, sell off all these items and see what I can buy, and then I'll do an outro for it. Okay. We're almost back up the waterfall. Boy, are we ever lucky that uh, we can actually go up waterfalls. Because if we couldn't, we'd be in big trouble. <laughs> uh, that would, like, just probably break the game. Or to make it... Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Didn't mean to hit you with that. <laughs> okay. We're going to give him 17. Or two more. Deposited two water essence. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, let's try lucky armor. Mana potions, water armor, maybe that's where I got some of my armor, but this place is, uh, it's a bit big right now. Critical armor? Does that give me critical damage? Can I sell my stuff? Where can I sell items? Uh, leggings, click to sell. Axeland shell leggings, level 10, spirit 105. So that's so odd though. I have spirit, but, hmm. But it's not connected to my mana. Where where can I find... Oh, there's my spirit. It's 2,518. You can see it just below my quests. So let's continue to sell here. Sell for 105. Continue to sell. I am not buying any of those items because, by golly, they're expensive. Sell. So I guess the currency here is spirit, is, is what it's telling us. Uh, I think I'm all out of items to sell. We're looking at critical helmet, level 10, 10,000 spirit, 10,000, 10,000. You got your leggings, boots, chest plates. Uh, chest plate, level 50 is a million. Good gravy. 
so I imagine that you'll come back to this area. You know, like if other players probably come back to this area because, wow, lucky chest plate. Those are probably, oh, I get it. I get it. It affects your stats. The critical armor is going to make your critical stats higher. The lucky armor is going to make your luck stat higher. Okay. wonder if I can buy some mana potions. I want to sell you potions, but I've ran out of stock. Do you think you can help me out? I need two of each element to restock. That should be more than enough to last me for a while. And I just got a quest! Huh. So apparently I need to complete a quest in order to actually sell to him. But that's good. There's lots of quests. Plenty of stuff to do. So is this water armor connected to the water armor? Uh, what around town has you been helping out? I want to help out too, but I'm too far nervous to do anything myself. Maybe you can help me out though. I can make better water armor. I can make water armor to protect everyone from the axolids, but first I'll need some water essence and axolid shell armor. Get me those items and get to work. And I got another quest! <laughs> so, as you can see, I haven't had time to speak to a lot of the NPCs. I think I spoke to Barnaby. I think he gave me a quest too. I'm telling you, they won't bite you. You can just interact and talk to them, you know? Oh, yeah, that's right. He was telling me to speak to the town's folks. Health potions? I need essence in order to sell potions. Do you think you could get me... Oh, God. Water essence, fire essence. Well, that shouldn't be so difficult, because um, I've already gotten plenty of water essence from the Axolids in order to complete that quest, which I've still got quite a ways to go. Uh, let's see now. E? Okay. I need to check my quests. Ah, oh, that's my compass. Quests. Potions galore. Alorna portal. Yorgrim portal. I've been looking for those. Uh, it's somewhere around here, but... Aqua apparel. Traveling tradesman. 68%. Okay, good. So it doesn't just go away. And then you can click to track your quests. And it says currently tracking. And your compass should point you towards the area where you can either... Uh, the area where you can turn in the quest. It should point right to him. Let's see, and yeah, I'm not so good at uh, I'm I'm not so good at um, compass, but yeah, it works well enough. Let's explore a little bit. I need to get some. Uh, I need to get to some high ground. That's what I really need. I got an idea. What if I track a different quest? So, quest. Let's find this first portal. I should talk with Edmund in front of the Alorna portal at the top of the Water Shrine building. Okay. Let's check and see if I can do that. There it is. This looks like a Water uh, Shrine building. I need to get to the top of it. I'll take these stairs. Looks pretty good. Pretty easy. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. So it's, uh, compass works out. It's pointing me right towards it. I just need to find this guy and talk to him. Varric, what in the heck is that? I'm gonna go in it. I'm gonna I'm go in it. I'm going in it! <laughs> Wait, you need a higher player level to progress here. Current level 42. Required 250. Good God, I'm already level 40. There's... You level up quick in this game. Real fast. As you can see, uh, they require, like... Just to get into that portal required 250. Cecilia, is she one of the ones I'm supposed to talk to? I think she is. Quest. What? What? Oh, she's she's speaking. Who are you? Oh, I think I've seen you your your species before. You're from Cubecraft, right? Great people. Oh God, she's got a lot to say. Well, I trust you in that case. I'm gonna need you to talk to the king. Tell the guard, Captain Yaria, that I that you know me, and she'll let you through. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Tell the king that you're able to help him out. I'm sure he'll be happy with your help. Ah, oh, quest complete. Oh, that was someone I was supposed to talk to. Yeah, I got a quest to go find her uh, while I was down in the dungeons. Which I don't know why I was down in the dungeons. There's a lot here, though. Apparently there's a war going on, and I'm out. Supposed to help out with it. Uh, also, there's some sort of thing about the monsters attacking and people in danger. Which, you know, any RPG you play is going to have something like that, most of them. But look at this. A really, really well-developed, uh, a really, really well-developed world made with what appears to be a lot of painstaking hard work from probably quite a few people. This is a nice-looking kingdom here. And, oh, are you an NPC? 
That's an NPC. There's something pretty bad going on right now. Don't doubt that. Well, yeah, that's... What did I just tell them? I bet you can get the elytra and fly through those rings. But yeah, there's a lot going on. Tag us on Instagram, Cubecraft Games. Huh. Can I die from fall damage? I probably can. No? No fall damage. What? Try it again. I'm immune to fall damage. <laughs> Why am I immune to fall damage? I guess it's... Is that a survive... Is that a non-survival thing? This has gone on too long. I need to I need to taper it off. I'll do a part two later when I get some more spells and some more magic. But there's a big old desert out there. Um, the monsters out there were level 15, and I was not ready. I was not ready. They whooped my butt pretty hard. But yeah, there's a lot to see here and a lot to explore. So when I find out more... Oh, nice statue. When I find out more, I'll do a part two, and we'll see more. But if you're interested in playing this with me, I'd really appreciate you having you here. And I might do a series on this. I'm not exactly sure. We'll see.